Where are we going? The old temple in the Wildwoods. Why? It'll be easier to explain once we're there. Yodo didn't say anything else while you were outside. Yeah. He said he doesn't care about Jotunheim anymore. That the giants can keep their secrets. He's averted Ragnarok his own way. Do you think he knows all the giants are dead? I'm more concerned that it no longer matters to him. What's he up to? <laughs> What happened here? So close to home. Our raiders warring with one another now. Those are not their arrows. Something else is out here. More over here. And fresh. Did they all get in while the state was down? That or Odin caught up the protection spell altogether. <laughs> Almost to the bridge. Oh, guess the bridge gave out. Gonna need another path to the temple. Why would you come out this way alone, lad? I had dreams calling me here. <sighs> dreams. Hey, try using your blades to pull this down. Please. Whoa, that one's still alive. No, you're closer. Oh, <sighs> now. much to hope that an enemy of theirs would be a friend of ours. <clears throat> you see something down there? That. Something strong and dangerous beyond God. Oh, yeah, being all the way under. now just need to find a way around This bridge collapse. Oh, a while ago. Wasn't me. <clears throat> Remember when I said there was someone who might help us get answers about the giants in Loki? You mean Tyr? The old god of war in these lands, who is dead. 
Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. Right? He knows Tyr could unite the realms against him. Plus, Tyr was the giant's greatest ally. So... Enough. Putting up offerings to Odin. I don't think he cares. Pillar wasn't in the way last time I came. Like I was saying, Tyr was an ally to the giants. So he'd be on our side if we find him. And if anyone might know who I'm supposed to be, it's him. If he's out there, we gotta find him. How can we not? Those are many ifs, Atreus. What do you know? You'll see soon. Think. 
can't imagine what the lad's found, but he says he has evidence. We've come this far. Let's see it. Many dead here. We should be. Too late. Father, use your blade. Burn them. Mind you, it's coming. Isn't it nice how Fimblewinter wore down all the helpful magic they acquired? Yet somehow new terrors only flourish. As if on cue.
Yup, you got it. Wonder who they need. Decline. On it. Ah, he has gotten rather good at that. Yet another grizzly scene. I've seen my share of bloodshed, but this is an awful lot for one more. Oh no! Brother! Father! Not dead, me in your head! You're a stalker! On your guard, brother! Let me find your predator! Your shield's busted, brother. Just keep your feet moving, yeah? <laughs> On your guard, brother. I think we found our predator. Oh. Oh. Points are glowing. Might be a weak point. Oh! <laughs> 
Winter Flare, the Raiders door no in barging in, and now stalkers playing in our woods. This is no safe haven anymore. Father, the shield Mom gave you... Thor damaged it, but now... Perhaps the dwarves could take a look at it. Perhaps. Later. Come on, we can get in this way. Remember all those shrines we found, telling the stories of giants? How the panel on the left would be their origin, and the panel on the right would be their fate? Yes. We found many. I have seen them. Well, there's more to them than we realize. Well, the collapsed pillar is new, but the shrine is just on the other side. Ah, things collapsing on a regular basis in these parts. Fimble Winter wears down all things, even stone. <laughs> Something give over on the right. There we go. Come on.
You watching? Well, that's new. Come on. Atreus, wait! Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories... The secret stories. Those they kept here. Inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati? The wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free? Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is. But someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse? I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir, can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait. We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No. I found it in one of the other shrines. Others, oh, right. How many have you visited? I... well... all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard, anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned. But I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. They mention... black smoke and the bleeding earth. But... We can never figure out exactly... We? Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. it. It wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Black smoke. Bleeding earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the Bleeding Elf? Sounds like a mine, aye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. Their mines did belch black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it, then. 
here since Vardalfheim somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So, what now? Home. This way. Lad, even if we consider looking for Tyr, how do you have us getting to Svartalfheim? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. Huh. Ground looks kind of cracked there. What's under there, you think? Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. <sighs> we must tread carefully, brother. Danger is close. You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first time. Later! On the left! <laughs> <laughs> to smash into things for fun and profit. Lovely. Mimir, did you hear of Odin's offer? To the lad? Not much. They stepped outside. But he told us about it. I wouldn't worry. What about the things he did not tell us? curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. If we could find a way to open rum traps in Spartalfine, that there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for Enough. us to... We will go. Really? But if we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search for good. All right. You won't be sorry. <laughs> Over 
here. Sentry! As I live and breathe, is that Atreus? It's been so long. How you've grown. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> well, if you'll follow me. Brock mentioned you needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <laughs> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Until you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. You do remember we don't have the Unity Stone to let us jump off, right? Of course he remembers. Right, Bubba? Of course I remember. As you can see, we've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimblewinter, safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. We have a plan to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay then, your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any, anybody need a snack? Kratos, snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Sparto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr? Alive? I mean, that's, what? It's okay, I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son and disobeyed me. No, I, I kept an eye on him, on your behalf. Nothing risky, everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just, it's just, there's, it's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. How'd that get in here? What the hell is he anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that. I blame you. Well, come on, then. Let's get him something that fits, at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey. I suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivant. You know with this. Mmm. Busted up good. Hm. Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? I only got materials to make one of these in the here and now. You bring me more resources, we'll see what we can do.
If the kid's gonna insist on getting taller, best make a habit of swinging in for new duds. Hmm. Looks like Thimble Winner's been hard on our girl. Give her here. She's overdue for some Brock love. Found some items you left behind. Tossed them in the chest. What would you do without me? I'm gonna go look around, check out my room. Tell Sindri when you're ready. I knew he'd left something behind. This place is great, Sindri. You built it all yourself? You know it. And how's life been treating everyone's favorite as your Vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite. Hey, come see. See? I knew you wanted a snack. I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel Ta -da! leader who knew Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. 
Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader? Jerlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, Brock? Will he help us or not? No, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This much sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. You hear that? We'll just need the Bifrost and the head. Brock? Do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light. In your eyes. Oh! Oh, Cindy, a stodding bastard! <laughs> Open. Open now. I, I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! Good! Now, release! Still unpleasant! Oh, that's our cue. Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Russell goes, eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just need to adjust. <gasps> there! That should do it. <sighs> see? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Kiss you takes a joke, you old goat! <laughs> The Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first... Come on, let me show you how it works. Aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. To get to any of those realms, you'll need a seed for them. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Derlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Derlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck. Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck. Oh. Whoa, do you feel that? What's that like? Anything, everything. 
It's warm. Whoa, do you feel that? What's that like? Anything, everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Careful, lad. Ah! Why are these things so fast? No! Ah! Oh! 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 We're already off to a lively stop. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. There are resources. If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Did you see that over there? channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. <laughs> Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. <laughs> the 
If only we were in Midgard. That water would be frozen in the second. Brother! <gasps> you think freezing it would work? What if you used your axe on it? <laughs> Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Brave Mars Brassard, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Rock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Good old dwarven craftsmanship. Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Come on. There's got to be a faster way to get down there. Nice 
Nicely done. Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Think you can reach the wheel from here? Job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartalfarm? Aye, lad. Fimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. It's weird that Fimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. We can fit under that bridge. They cap those geysers? Hmm. hmm. 
I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Father, up there. Find anything good up there? are everywhere. Rose, one of those geysers. Is there another one somewhere? Down. That's dwarven ingenuity for you. Back to the, the boat. The of this realm are anything like Rock and Sindri. It's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke. 
Especially where gods are concerned. This place is wrecked. And yes, I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those Grim around.
Seems Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nithavor. How shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. <laughs> Gotta get behind it. But how? <sighs> You can uncover that geyser from here. Turn the wheel. Block's coming down. Something else we can hit?
That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any of... Was your find? Lad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Let's hope Tears in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tear is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Thumble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of you, brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Talk to you for a trouble. Please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. And hope they let us in. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. Appreciate it. What is a dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. 
Then they'd have mouths. <laughs> Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Ugh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it? What's it gonna be this time? <sighs> Patience! I find it's best to see these things... In action! Ah! Uh. <sighs> there. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say Skialfa. I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of a lair. How was I supposed to know they were there? Okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched the hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. At your service. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. Till we meet again! What can I make for you? Nothing appeals to you?
Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of, to keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Taron's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. Excuse me, but we're looking Nothing for... Nothing for you here. I don't care what you want. No food, no encouraging words. No nothing, please! <laughs> Sorry to bother you. Please bugger off. If you're not selling something, please kindly bugger off. Be awful. Behind your brother! Oh. special equipment to use this. A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp witch she had until she turned to by subtle means of resistance. Find you! Incoming! This looks promising, right? Well, that's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well.
Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Oh, we got a model father here. 